What is up guys, Sean here again, also known as a not officially Sean, and today I'm going to be doing another plugin review. Today it's going to be on a plugin called XP Boost. Um, link will be in the description as usual, um, and also here's an image of what it does. Um, and again it is a very simple plugin, um, it basically, as you can tell, it gives you XP Boost in game with a certain amount of time and how long you want of course this is configurable so what we're going to do straight up is download I've already got it downloaded you just drill that's not my that's my videos you just drag it into your all right so you just drag it into here and you should have a jar there and then when you start up the server it will create a uh, folder here so if we just go ahead and open the config alright so basically um, I'm gonna quickly go in the game and I'll show you the commands and the GUIs first so once you join the game um, I have some I have a diamond sword and some zombies excuse my lag by the way um, I'm actually getting a new graphics card and power supply coming soon for Christmas so uh, It'll be much better because I'm running really low frames at the moment. I have no idea why. It's normally not like this. It's just OBS. I haven't actually configured properly yet, so uh, I'll get to doing that soon. But uh, uh, excuse me. Other than that, um, let's get straight into it. So the main command is double XP, I believe. Okay, so the main command is double XP, and it brings up the help page. So after that, you can do W XP info. We don't have any boost active. If we go to the GUI, this is all configurable in the config, by the way. So you can change the XP boost shop title here, all the names here, how much they cost. Things in the brackets is how much they cost. So if I go ahead and give myself 3.0 boost, there you go, 350 seconds, and you see the action bar. Oh, excuse me, just down there above my heart, so it comes up every couple of seconds saying I have a 3.0 XP boost yeah so and now if I do the info it will come up saying second remaining 330 it's, it's goes down every second also we could do double XP on that will enable global XP I'm not sure how that works yet I'm, I'm not sure if that's I'm assuming that's configurable also but I'm just gonna turn that off for now and of course the reload command so now I'm going to quickly just heal myself and then hop into the config. Actually first I'm going to show you that when you kill a mob with the boost it will actually, as you can see you got 15 instead of 5, which is 3 times what we got, so it works fine. Um, it also generates a players folder here, if you edit that it shows it shows um, the person's UUID of course, uh, and how their time, what boost they got, and the ID of the boost, which will be in the config, by the way. So, first of all, this is when um, when the boost is active for the global, like we just turned it on. Uh, on the multiplayer server list, it will change your MOTD to say this. Um, of course, you can just disable that and enable that. I'm gonna just quickly make that false. Um, this is you got that XP, the new XP, which is that 15 there instead of the old XP which is 5 so that's that's you can change that message there and put your server name whatever um, you can turn that message off also by just changing that to false so if I just quickly change that to false reload the plugin now if I kill someone it should shouldn't come up there you go alright so next one is the action bar as I mentioned you can see it just there 3 point, three point O times XP boost is active. Um, that will obviously be different for each boost. The second delay in ticks for it to come up in the action bar, so that means every, I believe that's every five seconds. 20 is one second, so 20 times five is 100, so that's every five seconds. Yep. But the default is uh, four. So at the moment, I'm assuming that that's at four. Um, and when it's finished it will say your boost has expired so if I quickly look how long I've got left I have 185 seconds okay 
and this is the info command we just done we, you can change all these messages that come up it's great um, you also saw that if, when I didn't have a boost it will change you can change that message there saying you don't have any active boosters um, and when you buy one uh, let's see here do do 3.0 XP boosters on for the seconds and how much it costs you can change that message here so the boost is the 3.0 uh, the time here percent time percent is the time and the money is how much it costs in brackets there so that cost me 3000 you can change all this and the double if you go into double XP GUI the XP boost shop up here you can actually change that here too um, you can also change the name of the boost so the boost is the 1.5 there, 2.0 and the name after it which is great um, and then it says you can change the name of the bottle so 2.0 XP boost for da 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 how many seconds and how much it costs you can change that here too um, and if you don't have enough money you can also configure the message for that and you can also do your boost is still active so if I go ahead and get one there you go you can change that message um, you can also have it active for everyone on certain days so say you do weekly events where everyone gets extra boost on Wednesday you just change that true true do it, reload that save that I press Control S to save quicker by the way so you do just double XP reload so now every Wednesday there will be a double XP boost which today is currently Thursday and then, then you can change the help page here as you can tell it's the same as that and here's the shop that you can change so there's these are the defaults here's some more I'm just going to enable these two let's just enable them reload and now you see there's two more at the end there to add along of course so let's go ahead and make a new one so we're just going to go copy that press enter go back two spaces and change the name here to boost 8 enabled you want it to be enabled unless you're just doing it for testing uh, boost let's give them a 20.0 boost it will cost it will cost let's say 15,000 and get it for yeah 5 five minutes to get 300 seconds so I'm just going to go reload that now here's our one we made here, 20 for 300 seconds. We can't do it yet because we still have our current boost on, but it's only got 15 seconds. So if I just quickly wait out 15 seconds and then we'll buy our one. Okay, 15 seconds, five, three, two, one. Your boost has expired, as you can tell, you can change that message too. So now if we go ahead and buy that, now we have a 20 XP boost active. And of course, when we kill it, we get 10 ti 20 times more XP. As you saw, I just went from level 12 to 15 instant. Now, it will also update the players again, as you can see. It just told me to update the files. Now, it says I have a 20 boost, and it says the ID, which is our boost 8. You can also rename that to make it so you can put like 20 XP boost, so you know that, that is, that's the 21. Um, and it also has skill API support, so if you are using skill API, you can just enable the support for that. So yeah, that's basically this plugin all in a nutshell. It's very basic, but very handy for servers. Um, this tutorial was very quick. Uh, if I did miss some stuff, I will make a part two. So this, just comment below. And yeah, if you do like this, share it with your friends, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.